Ma Po Tofu. Hot, spicy and savoury, it is definitely one of my favourite foods to have with rice. While traditionally made with beef or pork, I was challenged to recreate this dish with impossible meat. Using shiitake mushrooms for maximum umami and some basic techniques, we will recreate this traditional Chinese dish in a not so traditional manner. I promise you one thing, you will be satisfied. Mapua tofu originates from the Sichuan province of China. Located in the southwest, the Sichuan province is famous for giant pandas and its spicy food. To make this dish, apart from the tofu and the shiitake mushrooms, we also need some dou ban jiang, which is a spicy fermented bean paste, some fermented black beans, chili flakes, garlic, and of course some Sichuan peppercorns. As mentioned, I'll be using impossible meat for this dish. You can use pork or beef, or you can choose to leave out any use of meat altogether. Before we dive in, the list of ingredients and the written instructions will be pinned to the comment section below. Let's start with the shiitake mushrooms. After you have rinsed the shiitake mushrooms, drop them into a pot with about 2 cups of water and allow the mushrooms to boil gently for about 10 minutes. This helps to soften the mushrooms and it will give us an amazing mushroom stock at the end of it. Once done, fish out the mushrooms and allow them to cool. Next, dice the mushroom stalks and the head of the mushrooms into fine cubes. Now with the diced mushrooms and the mushroom stalk, we're now ready to bring our dish to the next level because shiitake mushrooms are rich in naturally occurring glutamic acid which is responsible for the taste of umami. For our citron peppercorns, we're going to heat a pan over medium heat. Once ready, we're going to put the citron peppercorns into the pan and lightly toast it for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once you can smell the aromas of the citron peppercorns intensify, take it off the heat and put it into a pistol and mortar. Start grinding and pounding away until you get a fine nice dust like this. Now just set it aside and we'll come back to it later. Now for our tofu, we're going to use a medium firm tofu. We want to avoid using a tofu that is too soft because it may break apart in the wok. When slicing the tofu, first make a horizontal cut in the center followed by vertical cuts on each side so you end up with cubes. Next, gently place your tofu on a ladle and simmer it in some lightly salted water. According to Chinese cooking demystified, this serves three functions. First, it helps to firm up the tofu. Second, it helps to cook out the raw grassy notes. And third, it helps to season the tofu as well. If you're going to stir your tofu, make sure you use the back of your ladle so you don't end up breaking your tofu in the pot. After two to three minutes, remove the pot from the heat and drain your tofu. Now heat up your wok and add about two tablespoons of oil. When your oil is almost smoking hot, add your minced meat. Give it a good fry to allow the meat to nicely brown for about a minute. Next, add your shiitake mushrooms and about 2 to 3 cloves of minced garlic. Fry this up for another minute or so. Next, add the topan jiang, the fermented black beans, and the chili flakes. Fry this up for another 2 to 3 minutes to allow the flavors to intensify. Next, add about 1 cup of your mushroom stock prepared earlier, followed by 1 to 1.5 teaspoons of sugar and 1 to 1.5 teaspoons of Shaoxing rice wine. Now, here you should give your sauce a taste. Some recipes actually suggest adding some soy sauce, but if it's salty enough, then skip the soy sauce. Now it's time to add the tofu that we prepared earlier. Gently lower the tofu into the wok and slide it in. As before, use the back of your ladle to move it around without breaking it. After you've allowed the tofu to simmer in the sauce for about 3-4 minutes, it is time to add the cornstarch slurry. Allow the tofu to simmer for another minute or so and then turn off the heat. You should notice the sauce start to thicken thanks to the cornstarch. Of course, you can adjust the consistency to what you like. If you want it thicker, just add more starch. If you want it looser, then add more stock. Once you're ready, take the mapo tofu out of the wok. Now look at this amazing bowl of mapo tofu. Before we tuck in, we have one last step. Grab the citron peppercorns that we prepared previously and sprinkle it all over your mapo tofu. There you have it, the impossible mapo tofu. Done. And now, it's time for the taste test. Now this is actually the first time I'm cooking with impossible meat. Looks wise, I can't tell the difference, but let's see how it tastes. On the first bite, I'm getting an explosion of flavors from the mapo tofu. The spice from the topan jiang and the chili flakes, the numbing bite from the citron peppercorns, and the umami from the dried shiitake mushrooms all complements together really well. As for the impossible meat, it tastes and feels just like lean beef, which is very enjoyable. Now of course we must have this dish with rice, if you thought it was good, it only gets better. 
The rice soaks up all the sauce from the mapo tofu and becomes an amazing vessel to deliver flavor to your mouth. If you want an additional kick, you can always sprinkle some extra citron peppercorns. That's all for today's video. This is Tatio signing off.